Well, tonight, Republican presidential hopefuls are in Iowa, and they are reacting to the mounting violence in Gaza, claiming that they are the party's best bet for dealing with instability overseas. As the conflict between Israel and Hamas escalates, President Biden is now asking Congress for billions of dollars in aid for both Israel and Ukraine. Our campaign correspondent Libby Dean takes a look as Republicans attack the Biden plan and one another. With a worsening crisis abroad, back home, 2024 GOP candidates using the war to fight each other on the campaign trail. In taking issue with the current president's plan to send billions in aid to Palestinians in Gaza. I look at what Biden's doing. He wants to send your money to the Gaza Strip. That will be commandeered by Hamas terrorists. Not one red cent to Hamas. We cannot do that in this country. But Florida Governor Ron DeSantis isn't just attacking Biden. He's also in an escalating war of words with Nikki Haley, as both fight to be the one to take down the frontrunner, former President Donald Trump. God bless Ron DeSantis, because he continues to try and bring up this refugee situation. He has said that I want to take Gazan refugees. I have never said that. Haley, a former U.N. ambassador, has touted her foreign policy experience since the beginning. But now, people are taking notice. She has both the domestic policy chops and the foreign policy chops. Look, she's someone that I think could take on uh, Donald Trump and take on Vladimir Putin and um, address the situation in Israel. Meanwhile, candidates like Senator Tim Scott pushing for retribution as the Hamas hostage situation continues. But we also need to send a very clear signal to, ha to Hamas that the price for taking American hostages must be their lives. Libby Dean, News Nation, Iowa City. And we thank Libby Dean for that report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.